Good morning, and this is Apostle Rasa Solomon, Rasa Solomon's channel, aka Prophetic Voice of Yeshua's Ministry. Uh, if you want to see see my links, you could uh, scroll down under here, under this video. It is a description box that has all my links. Um, it also has a link to the twenty one um, <coughs> breakthrough fast uh, prayer that um, I have been doing. A sweet little person named Shana <laughs> made me a landing page. Uh, so you could go there and see all 19 days so far. And uh, I guess she will be putting today's uh, video up after she sees it today. Um, and also, there's another link. Uh, she made me a landing page for my ministry. It has all my links. You could just click on it. Um, it even tells you my cash app, which is dollar sign Yahweh Elohim, Y-A-H-U-A-H-E-L-O-H-I-M. Um, it also has my blogs where you can donate, um, and my blogs, www.getthat2-7.com and prophetessrosalindsolomon.blogspot.com. And the PayPal uh, button is in to the middle right of the link. And also, you can mail in your donations and prayer letters and seeds at P.O. Box 1473, Fayetteville, Georgia, 30214. Fayetteville is F-A-Y-E-T-T-V-I-L-E. And uh, you write checks, money orders out to Prophetic Voice of Yeshua's Ministry. Uh, so this will be my last time giving out this information. I will just be reminding you that my links are under the description box under this video also you could go to the about page on my landing page on youtube and hit the about page and links are there as well uh, you could go to prophetic mantle on facebook you'll see my book heavens encounters click on that and all links are under there too so nobody needs to be asking me where to mail donations or prayers or where to donate because it's right there it's very tedious for me to have to keep saying this. All right. So we're going to do some different prayers. And I will be putting these prayers under the, uh, I mean, in the comment box. Okay. Um, and after tomorrow, which is the last day, I will also be putting my links in the comment box. And I was doing that before, but I stopped because of the 21 day. So y'all could get the, uh. The prayers and things as such. Alright. So tomorrow will be the last day. And I will be coming on between. Hmm, five and seven. To do the last day. Alright. It's going to be a surprise too. <laughs> to do the last day. So I'll be looking. Um, be looking out for that. Alright. All right, so Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory again for this day and this time, and that you have helped us made it to day 20, and you have helped us fast at least four hours in a day, or you may have went to, people may have went to sleep at 10 and woke up at 6 or 7 or 8, and eight, and then fast for another two to four hours, however they did it, eight hours, as long as you do four hours, you're good. Like I said, if you're on medicine, seek your doctor. If you're pregnant, seek your doctor. <laughs> All right, so we give you glory, Father, the Holy Spirit, and you. We seal this prayer with the blood, you and the fire, the Holy Spirit. We cover it. Let the angels be shoulder to shoulder with us. And bless your Jesus. Let our prayers reach the rock and bust the rock so the mist, sweet mist could come out and go to your nostrils and smell it and hear our prayers and fill our golden bowls up and send the angels with the sackcloth bags to bring things down. And may we be prepared for it. our blessings in our heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And may you brittle and mute our mouth to prevent us from uh, cursing our own selves to not receive the blessings in Yeshua's name. So the blood sure. All right. So. Where's my um okay? So um here's the first prayer. It's about debt removal, right? Many Christians have a lot of debt, you know, and the enemy uses the debt to stop the blessings from coming, right? Because I used to be in a lot of debt, but not anymore because God delivered me back in 2018, you know. But you still got your electric bill, your gas bill, water bill sewage bill um 
if you live in a house, you know, if you got an apartment, condo, you know, co-op, whatever, split level unit, um, then you probably just pay gas and electric, right? And then you have your cable, you have your cell phone. Oh, excuse me, y'all. You have your house phone, you know, most people don't have a house phone, but if you do, because you ha can through Xfinity, Xfinity and Verizon, AT&T, right? So those are still bills, although, you know, there are bills that we have to pay every month, it's still debt, right? So that kind of debt is a different kind of debt than we're praying for. See, see, debt that you got to pay every month, that's, it's debt, but it's not like, how can I explain this, Father? It's debt, but it's not like purpose debt. You know, it's debt that you have to pay every month to keep your gas and electric going, water going, rent, you know, mortgage, you know, uh, you know, that's needed stuff, right? But purpose debt is like you going for um, a loan to pay off debts or to just to have some money, you know what I mean? Um, business deals, things like that credit cards you know things like that right um so we're going to be praying that god removes our debt you know he can either do it supernaturally like he did mine or he could give us money to pay it off you know um yeah so that's the only way excuse me he could do it is through supernatural means and measures or give us the money to pay it off give us a way to pay it off so we're going to pray that Whatever way he chooses, if he want to just wipe it out and it just disappears one day, it's not in the digital system, in the digital world anymore, nor on paper anymore, he could do that. Or if he wanted to give you the money, he can do that for you to pay it off, okay? So here's the first one. Debt removal. Uh, Father, Yahweh, I confess I've made mistakes. I have accumulated too much debt. And now I cannot imagine overcoming it without your help. Please, Father, I ask you to intercede on my behalf and provide me with the financial means to be able to breathe again. Please forgive my sins, Father Yahweh, in Yeshua's name. Walk with me and help me to make the right decisions in your name. So you ask God to help you make the right decisions from now on once you get out of the debt. So you won't get in debt anymore in Yeshua's name. Okay? I mean, I mean, I mean. Okay, where's the other one at? Wait. Okay, here it is. Okay. The next one is prayer for promotion to pay your debt off. How many of you know we need God to promote us in order for us to receive a financial blessing? We must be promoted. We must uh, battle our way out of uh, whatever battle the enemy is using against us to keep us in debt or to keep us from receiving the monetary benefits that we need to come out of debt or receive the, a monetary uh, miracle from God to erase our debt in Yeshua's name. So say this, this year, October 2021 into the new year of man, <laughs> uh, in 2022, Father, in Yeshua's name, I am requesting for the newness of this year and the newness of a new next year that you bless us to see 2022 with new blessings and increasements in my business ministries any type of opportunity you want to give me in my job in my career to get promotions because this is going to be a the last couple of months of this year is going to be good and 2022 is going to be good it doesn't matter father to me well, it does matter because I pray. But the things that's happening will not affect me because your word says it doesn't affect us. From from the south to, the, to, to, to right to the left, we see our enemies just falling, right? And all kinds of turmoil could be going on in the world, but you are our stance. And it says, keep our eyes on you like flint. So that's what we're doing, Father. In Yeshua Jesus' name. So, Father, we desire and pray that you will give us a miraculous 
a blessing to pay off our debts and help our children and get back to the community and help others and help people in the ministry, you know, and we can do leisure things that you allow us to do. We can have godly fun. Whatever it is you want us to do, we will do, Father, in Yeshua Jesus' name. So I thank you in advance, Father, for your help that you're going to give us. So, Almighty Father, I thank you for the precious gift of life and health. Father, may you please forgive me for all known and unknown sins in Yeshua's name. My plea with you, Father, is that you bless me with a better paying job, a better business, a better ministry, better career, better marriage, better everything in Yeshua's name. Father, I image and imagine that I am sitting on the godly treasures that you promised me in your word. You said we have godly treasures in the heavens and we have godly treasures on the earth. And you once told me, Father, that how can we come home to heaven and experience godly treasures and we have never had the opportunity to experience it on the earth? And that's because the enemy has took it so much, Father. But we pray to you today, Father, that you allow us to experience our godly treasures and wealth on the earth as much as you want to give us. We will leave it up to you. We will not box your hands. We will leave your hands open to give on to us our godly treasures as much as you want to give us, as much as you want us to experience on the earth. So when we make it home and we see all these goodies that you got for us, we like, you know, we're prepared, Daddy, because we've experienced it. We'll know how to act, so to speak. <laughs> In Yeshua's name, Daddy. And um, I pray for anybody that needs a new car as well, Father God, and that uh, you give us all good places to live, our own homes, condos, townhouses, whatever people want to own. Um, if you want to be an entrepreneur in the real estate, Father, I pray you give us vast amounts of property so that we can house people to live in that need help or our family, you know, or get and also give us our heart's desire for us a house condo whatever you know the people want in my case house daddy in yeshua's name and i thank you that we are vast on this earth we are vast in all inhabitations father that you made for this earth in yeshua's name and thank you for allowing us to afford to own our own property our own houses businesses condos co-ops townhouses apartment buildings where we, where we can help others churches business buildings you name it buildings to build shelters food banks you name it father so that we can become one of the most strongest pillars that you have and you have many in your kingdom father in yeshua's name and those who need a new car i pray that they get a car of your choice father or their liking that you approve of in yeshua's name and father May you grant us this that we are asking you today. For you have made us worthy, Daddy. You told me that once we come on to you and we live on to you, Father God, you have made us worthy of you. So thank you for making us worthy of you, Father God. In Yeshua, Jesus, most holy, holy name. And we give you all the glory for these prayers today, Father. And there will be many miracles coming forth from these prayers this day, Father. For you are a worthy God that answers and you are your on time, God. You may not come when we want you to, but you will come when we need you to. In Yeshua's name, sealed with the blood of Yeshua Mashiach, King Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. <laughs> Bless God. So we'll talk tomorrow between uh, 5 and 7 for the last day. Woohoo! Bless God for the day. In Yeshua's name. Shalom, shalom, shalom. <laughs>